assist. Once again, Dr. Vakas is here with you. This video is made for first year medical students and especially it is prepared for my first year BMS medical students of Marcus Yunani Medical College, Calicut, Kerala. Today, I will speak on maturation. What is maturation? Maturation is a process of voiding of urine from the urinary bladder. In another words, you can say maturation is the passing of urine that is of eliminating of liquid waste from the body. In general word, you can say maturation is the urination. It means maturation is, is a medical term for a general word urination. It is also called as amection. It is also known as uresis and also called as voiding of urine. So maturation is the passing of urine from the urinary bladder. Let's know how maturation takes place. Maturation occurs by the maturation reflex. And what is reflex? In short, reflex is an automatic response to a simple stimulus which does not require the mental processing. So, maturation reflex is also a kind of automatic response of the body through which the voiding of urine occurs. For the initiation or before the initiation of maturation, the filling of the urinary bladder by the urine is essential. So, first stage is filling of urinary bladder. How urinary bladder is filled? As you know, first, the urine is continuously formed by the nephrons of the kidneys, and this urine flows into the urinary bladder drop by drop. So, urine, when after formation, when it is collected in the pelvis of the ureter. Pelvis, the upper expanded part of the ureters, which is situated in the hilum of the kidneys. So when urine is collected in the pelvis, the contraction generated in the pelvis or in the ureters. And this contraction is continued throughout the ureters. And this contraction becomes a peristaltic moments. So peristaltic moments develops in the ureters which leads to pushing the flow of urine towards the urinary bladder. And when the urine reaches near the bladder, the hypogastric nerve which is supplied to the urinary bladder is stimulated and which leads to relaxation of the detrusor muscle. and constricting of the internal urethral sphincter there is two kind of urethral sphincter internal and external so the internal urethral sphincter which is situated between the neck of the urinary, urinary bladder and upper end of the urethra so due to stimulation of hypogastric nerve which is a which is a kind of sympathetic segment of autonomic nervous system so sympathetic nerve fibers that that is named as hypogastric nerve is stimulated and it leads to relaxation of urinary bladder and constricting the internal urethral sphincter so it leads to it leads to the enter the entering of the urine from the ureter into the bladder so it leads to filling of the urinary bladder. That is why hypogastric nerve or sympathetic nerve is called as nerve of filling. And when the urine is collected 
about 300 to 400 ml in the urinary bladder then it leads to increase in the pressure inside the bladder that is called as intravesical pressure so when the amount of urine more and more accumulated in the urinary bladder the pressure inside the urinary bladder increases more and more that is called as intravesical pressure so due to increase in intravesical pressure the wall of the urinary bladder is stretched and due to stretching of the wall of the bladder it leads to stimulation of the stretch receptors which are situated on the wall of the urinary bladder so due to stretching of these receptors the sensory impulses generated these sensory impulses also called as afferent impulses and every sensory impulses have a definite meaning of sense which kind of sense these sensory impulses telling please help please help the bladder is filling what i will do and then this sensory message send it towards the spinal center of the maturation at the sacral segments of spinal cord where the motor impulses generated means the command the order is passed what you will do and these motor impulses send it towards the bladder and towards the internal urethral sphincter via efferent nerve fibers of the pelvic nerve and pelvic nerve which is supplied to the bladder and urethra so due to pelvic nerve due to these motor impulses it leads to contraction of the detrusor muscle contraction of the bladder and relaxation of and relaxation of the internal urethral sphincter and then the urine is entered from the bladder into the urethra and once the urine enters into the urethra then the stretch receptors for stimulated which is situated on the urethra and then sensory impulses generated again and due to these sensory impulses you should know why these sensory impulses generated because every sensory impulses have definite meaning of sense which kind of sense here because the passage is blocked by the external urethral sphincter so these sensory impulses telling what i will do the passage is blocked due to external urethral sphincter is closed then due to these sensory impulses these sensory impulses goes towards the sacral segments of spinal cord where pudendal nerve inhibited pudendal nerve which is supplied to the external urethral sphincter so due to inhibition of this pudendal nerve the relaxation of the external urethral sphincter takes place and due to relaxation of external sphincter the urine is flow towards the exterior and the voiding takes place via external urethral meatus or orifice and when the maturation reflex is initiated it becomes auto regenerative it means the maturation reflex causes contraction of the urinary bladder and due to contraction the stretch receptors is stimulated which leads to generation of sensory impulses and these sensory impulses leads to further contraction of the urinary bladder and then again this contracted urinary bladder stimulates the stretch receptors so this contraction of the urinary bladder is continued until the contraction reaches the maximum or the voiding is over and you should know where the center of maturation is situated maturity center of maturation is situated in the spinal cord and this spinal centers of maturation 
further regulated by the higher center of the brain and there is two kind of higher center first one inhibitory center and second one facilitatory centers so the inhibitory center of the brain situated or these inhibitory center are present in the mid brain and in the cerebral cortex of the brain which suppresses the spinal centers for maturation and the facilitatory centers are situated in the pons of the brain which facilitates the spinal centers for voiding of urine let's see the innervation of urinary bladder and maturation reflex by this diagram here you can see in this diagram innervation of the bladder and the urinary bladder is innervated by these sympathetic nerve nerve fibers and these parasympathetic nerve fibers and the external urethral sphincter here it is supplied by the pudendal nerve that is the somatic nerve fibers so in this diagram you can see this is the urinary bladder and in here the internal urethral sphincter and this is the external urethral sphincter so the sympathetic nerve supply it is it is uh, originated from the lumbar segments of spinal cord l1 from l1 l2 and l3 and these nerve fibers it is arises it is called as sympathetic nerve fibers and these fibers run through this sympathetic ganglion but here it does not synapse does not terminate and then it is and then this it is continue and it synapse in this hypogastric ganglion where in this hypogastric ganglion these fibers terminated and post ganglionic fibers arises and before this hypogastric ganglion the fibers called as pre ganglionic fibers and the fibers arises from this hypogastric ganglion called as post ganglionic fibers so these fibers post ganglionic fibers supply to the bladder and also supply to the internal urethral sphincter so due to this the action of the sympathetic nerve fibers the urinary bladder relaxes the relaxation takes place in urinary bladder and it causes the constriction of internal urethral sphincter so the urine enters into the bladder that is why it is called as nerve of feeling and here this is parasympathetic nerve supply and this parasympathetic nerve supply nerve fibers originates from the s2 s3 and s4 segments of spinal cord and uh, from here the nerve fibers send it towards the urinary bladder and these nerve fibers called as pelvic nerve pelvic nerve fibers and these pelvic nerve fibers supplied to the bladder also supplied to the internal sphincter so due to action of pelvic nerve the bladder is contracted and internal sphincter becomes relaxed so the urine enter into the urethra from the bladder and that is why this parasympathetic nerve or this pelvic nerve is called as nerve of m time or nerve of maturation and then now this is you can see somatic nerve supply this somatic the fibers of somatic nerves somatic nervous system also originates from this s2 s3 and s4 segments of spinal cord sacral segments of spinal cord and the fibers originated from these segments called as 
this is the pudendal nerve it becomes a pudendal nerve and it is supplied to the internal sphincter and the function of pudendal nerve is pudendal nerve keeps the external sphincter constricted always but during maturation reflex this pudendal nerve inhibited and contra and relaxation takes place in this external sphincter and then voiding of urine occurs in this diagram you can also see the same things the nerve supplies of parasympathetic and here sympathetic nerve supply and here is the somatic also called voluntary nerve supply that is pudendal nerves and pudendal nerves control the voluntary voluntary movements or want uh, it has the voluntary control on external sphincter now in this slide you can see the maturation reflex here the cerebrum and the top this is this is the cerebrum brain and this is the pons in cerebrum there is the inhibitory centers for maturation and in pons here the facilitatory centers for maturation situated in the brain that is both inhibitory and facilitatory centers are the, are the higher center situated in the brain which control the spinal centers of maturation here are the sacral region in this sacral region of spinal cord so this is the brain control or regulates the spinal segments for maturation and here you can see the sensory signals from stretch receptors of urinary bladder and when the sensory signals passes from the bladder towards the spinal cord and motor impulses generated generated so this is motor signals these are the motor signals which reaches towards the urethra and also reaches towards the bladder the maturation is over if you like this video please share and subscribe and i will come back soon